Legend of Total War here, and today we've got a saving a disaster battle playing as Crooked Moon going up against Karak Izor. So we've been caught in Force March here, which is obviously a bad sign. We've got a Wa army and a small reinforcing army. If we order resolve this, obviously we'll get wiped out. Karak Izor has, you know, two almost two full stacks. Now there's a technique that we can do here that has only become available from the latest patch. Now CA have patched out some of the old cheeses but they've patched in some new ones. And this can be done with any faction, but it's primarily utilized by the Greenskins during a war. Okay, so this is what you do. Firstly, not control a large army. Okay, first first thing we gotta do, I gotta explain this so that everyone understands how to do this, right? The first thing that's required is that you have to have at least two armies and they have to have at least two armies. And it's just two factions showing up on the battlefield, okay? So for example, if Belagar was present and um, Thorgrim was present, this doesn't work, okay, because it's two separate factions. But if Bella, if Karak Izor is bringing in two armies, then this works, okay? So, by not controlling a large army, you've seen me do this a dozen times, or more, or actually, yeah, way more than that. But anyway, what this does is make sure that each faction can only bring in 20 units at a time. So, Belagar can only bring in his initial force, I can only bring in my initial force. But now here's the new technique. Now you put your reinforcements under AI control, right? Because technically, that's not under the control of your faction. It creates an AI Crooked Moon faction. So what ends up happening here is that the limit to every faction is still 20 units on the battlefield. I'm only going to bring 20. But my ally here is going to bring in another 20. So I'll have 40 units on the battlefield. I won't be able to bring in all of my forces because I've actually got more than, than 40. But I'll be able to bring in essentially two armies, whereas Belagar is going to be limited to just one. So this essentially has lightning striked Belagar while also being able to utilize our army. So this is actually better than lightning strike. So, and, you know, we're under attack. So we're going to do that, and you'll see they'll come in as reinforcements, and we'll be able to overwhelm him. Now, the downside to this is that you're putting an AI army under AI control. You're putting one of your armies under AI control, and the AI is really bad. Like, they're going to be... They're just not going to do very well. They're not going to understand the techniques that you want to use, and they're just going to burp straight into the enemy. But that's fine, because you only really have to deal with half of of, uh, of Belagar's army, while they'll deal with the other half. So what we want to do here, I'm going to put them... Leave them hiding over here. We want to get around their army. Ideally, what we want to do is pincer them. So our initial army is not as strong as theirs, that's no surprise. Uh, this one here, I'm not sure if I want to use that at all right now. I'm just going to hide them here. Do they stalk? Okay, they stalk, so I can just hide them over there. And you, I want you to get their attention and drag them down this way. Now, what we want to do, there's two, two good spells we've got in this army. We've got this one here to get rid of the Ancestor Heroes, and also Itchy Nuisance. Probably best using Vindictive Glare. Now, we've only got 10 power reserves, so we have to wait until we've got 30 magic before we cast, or else the recharge rate's going to be ridiculously low. So while this is going on, we will just sneak around the side here. Also got a Salt of Stone, which is a really good spell. Bit of damage. That's essentially like one full unit wiped. Actually, I'd say close to two full units wiped out. So yeah, just wait. Start moving around the back here. while they're getting organized as well. So, they're essentially the vanguard, and we're the sneaky gits that come round the side. Right then. So yeah, we want to try to make uh, make as much use of our Winds of Magic in this battle as possible. Which is what we, okay, there we go. Uh, I think we've got a pretty good chance of hitting that. Because those are going to be very difficult to get rid of. Good, and that's a fair amount of damage. Now, this doesn't necessarily do magic damage, but let's just see. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's doing a fair bit of damage. Okay, that's fine. I may have got myself a little bit too close because we're on Force March. Shit. He's moving real slow. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. I hope. Just need to get some distance from these guys here. Yeah, now you decide to shoot. Got 30 wins of magic again. Don't you dare break. God damn it. Might be better to use Itchy Nuisance now. It's okay. Look, as long as he doesn't break, it's okay. Now we start coming in the rear, and we're the flanking force. Alright. Pop down an Itchy Nuisance in there. And no more recharge, right? That's it. You know what, I don't think we're going to need our archers for this engagement here, we'll use them in the next one. Taking a bit of damage here, but we're we're flanking them. I really just wish we weren't caught in force much. No, 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 no. Don't lose the artillery over here. They didn't protect them at all. Alright, where's those ancestor dudes? Here we go. We're a little bit late to the fight. I really wish I could tell these artillery to stop firing. Oh God, they're killing our own men. This is what I'm talking about. Fucking AI reinforcements. Stop bombing our own troops, you morons. You know what, it might actually be better if they did get rid of these artillery, because they're probably doing more damage to us than to them. Okay, ripping them to shreds. And then we'll hit the rear of them. Just run our, our artillery off the battlefield. They're actually doing more damage to us than them. And then we got these guys completely surrounded here. So it didn't go perfectly, but our, our army is in good shape. Oh, there's still another one over here. Alright, got a little bit of magic left. Alright, let's pop down another itchy nuisance. See, that's your other general there. It would be really good if he doesn't die, but I can't come control him. Okay, he's out of ammo. Get him to take out these Bugman Rangers might be- actually no, good for them. Just saving them for later. No point having them come in over here. Ugh, I 
I just hate watching these guys shoot their own troops, but I just can't do anything about it. It's not a perfect technique. It's not perfect, but... You know, we're going to have more than a full stack to deal with their second army as well. Because we really didn't take that much damage. Most of the damage was friendly fire. Oh God, don't lose this guy here. I can't tell him to leave. Alright. It's okay if he runs off the battlefield. Just, just don't die. Why? What? Why would you do this? <laughs> At least it didn't do that much damage. But fuck me. Jesus Christ. Okay, this is just way too much of a mosh pit there. Can let the AI finish off Belliger. Now, I need to do some magic damage on this guy here. We can still do three of these, but in order to do that, to get a hit in there, I kind of need their troops to get away. Yeah, just pull of our troops out of this. Before they bloody put down another spinning loon. Alright, now we need to get over here and start taking out these, these other guys. It might not necessarily be in our best interest to wipe out these units right now. Because the more of them we wipe out, the more troops will come in reinforcements. Why don't you route off the other way? Not side-by-side -side enemy units. Yeah, it's not a perfect technique, but it was the technique that we needed to win this. I don't know if I... I don't know how to feel about this. Hitting our own troops, but you know, they're not going to beat them, that dude in melee anyway. Oh, that regenerates. Nice. Yeah, this is why I didn't want to be around here. The AI reinforcements are pretty much, like, they're in really, really bad shape. It's alright. Like, our army by itself will be able to handle their reinforcements now. Yeah, that's it. Try to... <laughs> it's so painful to watch the AI dealing with this stuff. They're just not good at it. I'll just give them a... Well, I was going to give them a rest, but what's the point? We're on Force March. That one's gone at least. Uh, I think they've still got another one somewhere around here. Or maybe we did actually get rid of that one. <sighs> so painful to watch. This is going reasonably well. This one here in particular is quite good. This stuff here causes damage over time as well. They're not beating Belagar. Alright. 
Alright, they, they've used up all their ammo, so I'll send in some reinforcements to come and help, because we do need to get rid of him. So I can do one more of these Vindictive Glares. We already got rid of the Ancestor Heroes, so those are the only ones that it's particularly good against, but getting one or two extra kills, you know, better than nothing. Oh yeah, send the uh, the hammer of Gork into melee. Great. It is what it is. Should just get one volley in there if you could. How much damage over time does it do? Uh, hard to say with these ones coming in there. Don't think all of their reinforcements have come onto the battlefield just yet. Don't want to send these guys in just yet. Best we keep up with the skirmishing. It's actually doing a pretty good job, I think. Bounce power still in our favor, but I still feel like more reinforcements are coming. That shattered leaves them beat. Deal. These guys here aren't going to be able to beat archers in melee. Just wait, not yet. We'll, we'll charge in there real soon. Alright, now's the time. Did we get rid of... Almost got rid of Belaga. They're not you, you're not going in this. Too far away. Good, get rid of that one. Bouncer power's looking okay. So yeah, the AI reinforcements, they performed like absolute shit in this battle, but at least they were there. And it allowed us to perform a hell of a lot better because they were a massive distraction. Now, I don't think this army here is in in force march, so we do need to run them down, so best we don't get these guys too badly killed, so they can do some running down after the battle's over. Ignore this one over here. He'll still inflict the poison even in melee, so let's bring him in. Try and finish the job now. Hopefully, we don't get any friendly fire. 
Let's see. Oh, <laughs> that wasn't worth it. I just should have done nothing there. Uh, okay, there's the army losses. Alright, cool. We'll speed this up, run down as many of them as possible. Our army is in excellent shape. But obviously the Wa army is going to be absolutely shredded. But you know what? That's what the Wa army is there for. For you to to lose it. And I'm pretty sure that the the other general, which is your general, um, is still alive. I think we managed to save him. But I don't know about his army. I, I don't think the Goblovers got wiped out. But I know that he sent him into melee against Belagar. We did, we did take out Belagar, didn't we? Pretty sure we did. Try and uh, wipe out as many of them as possible. Alright, we're done here. Let's move on. Yeah, it was always going to be a Pyrrhic victory, given how much damage was done to the, the other army. This one here. But that's what it's there for. Considering how much damage we did to them, worth it. The biggest pain, though, was just watching the enemy, watching the allied artillery just perform so badly. I can't see... The damage, we'll have to see it the beginning of the next turn. So, Belagar's army completely wiped out. And this one here's still... Still around. Um, I think you could use some money. Did that just say you've got one turn left on the war? So, it's going to disappear anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so... That was, like, the right time to sacrifice them. Nasty magic you, why do you have no- Oh, you got no retention because you're in enemy territory. So, they moved over here, and... Yeah. Took a lot of damage, but he is still alive. What happened to Skarsnik? Oh, yeah, you're not playing a legendary difficulty. You're not just running off one army. How'd you get this so soon? Oh, I see, because one of your heroes was probably able to level up super quickly. Right, I see. If we have a look at... Yeah. Because they, they level up super quickly in this. Alright, I see, I see, I see. Alright, that's cool. Well, you should have no problem now delivering the final blow to them, because your army's in good shape, and this guy here is at least still alive. And that, I think, was a good time to just waste the war army, since that was the end of it. Alright, cool. So that's the end of this one, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And there's a little technique of cheese there for you, which I don't think CA is going to be able to patch too quickly, so you'll be able to make use of it for a little while. Anyway, that's the end of this one. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time, fuckers.